This is another presentation by My Weight World. Nutrition and weight management for kids, ways to raise a healthy eater. Feeding kids of all ages can be a challenge. However, in today's world, a healthy diet right from the start is more important than ever. To help you raise a healthy child with good eating habits for life, this presentation will give you ideas on planning meals and snacks, give you tips on positive approaches to food and eating habits, and most importantly, help you to encourage nutrition and lifestyle choices that can benefit the whole family. It is important to be aware of the trends in health status so that we can be proactive instead of reactive. We are finding that the incidence of weight problems in children of all ages are increasing dramatically, as these statistics show. The prevalence of overweight in even very young children, those in the age range of two to five years, increased from 5% to 14% over the past 30 years. The prevalence of overweight in children from ages 6 to 11 increased to almost 19% in the same time period from just 4% in the mid-1970s. In the teenage years, the prevalence of overweight increased from 5% in the 1970s to over 17% of these children by the year 2004. Additionally, these statistics continue to rise and are even higher in certain population groups and geographic areas. And even in youngsters, overweight and obesity is related to dangerous health issues such as diabetes, high blood pressure, bone and joint problems, asthma, sleep apnea, as well as other respiratory problems and heart disease. These medical conditions can cause a lifetime of further complications, including kidney disease, strokes, blindness, and amputations. As gloomy as these facts are, it is important to realize that our actions and habits can significantly reduce risks of these dangerous health conditions. Starting healthy nutrition habits from the beginning is critical. It is never too early. Even in the first two years of life, children learn about food choices, varieties of foods, and feeding skills. Nutritious food choices are important to not only support growth and development, but also help prevent future problems with weight. And having the entire family involved in healthy nutrition can only be a good thing. However, it is important to remember that while everyone in the family may be eating similar foods, individual food and nutrition needs differ depending on age, health status, activity level, and lifestyle. For example, while a young child under two years old may be drinking whole milk because of their need for adequate fat and calories, adults most likely will benefit from low-fat or non-fat milk if this is a significant part of their diet to help control calorie intake and weight. The eating habits of children in the early years can vary from child to child. However, during these formative years, it is natural and expected for children to want more control over food choices and learn their self-feeding skills as part of natural development. Appetites in young children also can often vary from day to day, which can be frustrating to parents. But most children do naturally know how much food they need from day to day. Important influences on eating habits of children include what parents, friends, and siblings' eating habits are like, consistent exposure to a variety of healthful foods, and the use of food as a reward for entertainment purposes such as eating while watching TV. More statistics show us where we can focus our efforts on improving our and our children's diets. As many as 33% of young children consume little or no fruits or vegetables on a given day. And in every age group, this is the food category that usually is not eaten in recommended amounts, five to nine servings per day. Remember, serving sizes vary by age during childhood and are not large. And many commonly provided foods are high in fat, sugar, and salt, and low in nutrients and dietary fiber, which encourages continued taste preferences for these high, calorie and low nutrient foods. Also remember that these less healthful foods are more likely to be packaged in colorful and appealing ways and directly marketed to kids through clever commercials and promotions in the media. When is the last time you saw a commercial for apples? Specific foods to take note of that might promote weight problems in children 
especially if eaten on a regular basis, include sweetened drinks and cereals, added butter and margarine for children over the age of two, cookies, processed meats such as sausage, bologna, and hot dogs, cakes and other pastries, chips and crackers, large amounts of cheese, and any type of fried foods. These are examples of foods very high in caloric density with relatively low nutrients relative to the calories provided. There's a considerable difference in the total fat and saturated or bad fat in similar portions of chicken nuggets as opposed to a plain grilled chicken breast. However, for about a third of the calories, a plain chicken breast has just as much and likely more protein, vitamin, and minerals, as well as much less sodium, a much healthier choice. Eating habits to discourage since they promote overweight and obesity include excessively large portions, even on the kids' menus, frequency of eating, especially with high-calorie foods listed previously, eating in front of screens such as the television or computer, using food as a reward, especially sweets, and encouraging kids to clean their plate even when they say they are no longer hungry. Children need to learn to trust their own appetites and sense of fullness or satiety. Many adults have developed weight problems because of being taught to clean our plates, regardless of what our bodies need. But remember, eating food that we do not need is just the same as wasting it in other ways. Specific nutrients which are often lacking in the diets of children and many adults as well include iron, calcium, vitamin D, essential fatty acids, and fiber. Iron deficiency can affect learning and movement abilities as well as contributing to low energy levels. Iron is found primarily in meat, fish, eggs, beans, dried fruits, and fortified cereals. Calcium and vitamin D deficiencies over time affect bone strength and structure and can increase risk of fractures. These nutrients are found mostly in dairy products, especially fluid milk and yogurt. Essential fatty acids found in fish, nuts, and whole grains are important in neurological development and protect the cardiovascular system. And fiber found in plant and whole grain foods promotes a healthy digestive tract, as well as blood sugar and weight control. A diet based on large amounts of animal protein and refined grains is most likely lacking in fiber and can contribute to constipation and other digestive disorders. These are more reasons to include these healthful foods into meals and snacks throughout the day, as our bodies are meant to get our nutrition through real foods like fruits, vegetables, lean protein sources, beans, and whole grains. Most of the time, supplementation is not needed with regular intake of healthful foods as mentioned in the previous slides. However, there are cases where a vitamin or a mineral supplement might be needed, such as calcium or vitamin D. Children with food allergies or other medical conditions where foods may be restricted or with digestion or absorption problems may need special supplements. As with any medication, Check with a pediatrician for individualized supplement instructions as there may be a risk of overdose. Forming good nutrition habits, like with any learning process, does not happen overnight. Many kids are considered picky eaters, which actually may be a built-in survival strategy from prehistoric times. Positive food habits, like any other learned behavior, needs to be encouraged consistently. Encourage everyone in the family to sit at the table during meals and snacks. Turn off the television and video games and have pleasant music playing for a more relaxing dining environment. Do not allow toys or games at the table during meal or snack times. Children should be aware of their food and eating experiences and not be distracted from this important learning opportunity. Keep mealtimes positive and enjoyable and if possible, plan for interesting topics of discussion at the table to add to the fun of the meal. More important nutrition habits to keep in mind include encouragement of sharing mealtimes with others. This promotes socialization and healthful eating attitudes. Repeat offering of healthy foods at each meal and snack time, even if the food is initially refused. Just the continued exposure and encouragement will promote trust in a new food over time. And most importantly, caregivers who are good role models for healthy eating are critically important in helping a child 
form positive and lasting nutrition habits. Another reason for the adults to eat their fruits and vegetables. To reduce risk of weight problems, just simply providing a healthy food, preferably a fruit and or vegetable at each meal and snack can be very effective. Limit time in front of any screens to less than two hours per day as duration of TV, video, and computer game viewing is linked to excessive snacking and the risk of being overweight. Encourage playing and movement in any form, both indoors and out. Activities such as building blocks, sidewalk chalk drawing, arts and crafts, and even playing with pets help children develop muscles, coordination, and strength. It gives them more opportunities throughout the day to balance their calorie or energy intake needed to promote healthy weight status. And certainly household chores such as vacuuming, window washing, and picking up clothes are another great way to keep in shape. Other points to remember to reduce risk of childhood weight problems include regularly scheduled visits with health care providers to monitor weight and growth patterns. Avoidance of using food as a reward or punishment, and keep eating to specific dining locations in the house, at a table either in the kitchen or in the dining room. Avoid allowing eating in bedrooms, playrooms, or especially in front of computers or televisions. This is a very important concept to emphasize because the less areas in the home that are likely to be identified as usual places to eat, the less the sensation of hunger will be triggered. So minimize these food cues by minimizing eating locations. An added benefit, this will keep your home cleaner too. In considering the food and eating tips, being consistent is the most important. But progress does not mean perfection. Avoid being overly restrictive with food limitations unless there is a medical reason. Harsh and rigid rules about food often backfire with disordered eating behaviors later on. And again, role model healthy eating with all types of foods. Watching mom or dad eating an apple is wonderful, but so is watching mom or dad eating two cookies instead of the whole box. And getting in touch with your own sense of fullness and leaving food on your plate when you're satisfied, especially at a restaurant where portions tend to be large, is a powerful influence on your child's eating habits. Other ways to promote lifelong health habits include involving children in cooking and food preparation from an early age. This can include tearing lettuce for a salad, choosing colorful fruits and vegetables for meals, setting the table, and even the importance of washing hands. Taking children to the grocery store is a great educational opportunity. Label reading for nutrient content, ingredients, weights, and measures are all great ways to familiarize children with the role of nutrition in health and well-being, as well as to reinforce skills in math and reading. Dining out is a way of life for many families, and this challenge can be handled as well. Be aware of portions and choices on children's menus, as well as the adult menu. Order milk or water and avoid soft drinks or fruit drinks. Ask for substitutes for french fries or onion rings. Most restaurants are providing alternatives these days, such as applesauce or fresh fruit. And ask for grilled chicken instead of chicken nuggets, if possible. Encourage physical activity at all times. Children are meant to be active. Promote walking as much as possible throughout the day and use stairs instead of elevators or escalators. And when possible, minimize the use of strollers when children are old enough to walk independently in a safe environment. A few other ideas to keep everyone moving. Turn off the screens and turn on the music. Dancing is a wonderful and fun activity for all ages and fun music is a great for the mind as well. Jump ropes and trampolines for children of the appropriate age not only burn calories but build muscle and bone strength. Taking a frisbee or ball to the park, even for just 30 minutes a day, can work muscles throughout the body and is a great stress management technique, and kids need to relieve stress as well. If video games are played, encourage the active types, such as the dance step games that can really be quite fun challenging, and also get the heart rate going. In summary, it is a known fact that children today are all at high risk of weight problems, more than ever before. Parents and caregivers must pay attention to nutrition habits and foods offered to ensure a healthy weight and reduce risk of diabetes, heart disease, and other health conditions. 
Healthful food and lifestyle choices are beneficial to the entire family, so now is the time to get started. This has been another presentation by My Weight World.